Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. My name's Bob Willis and each month we'll look at process defects that you might see during manufacture. The Defect Database also gives you the opportunity of downloading all of the technical reports free of charge, which again picks up on some of the process defects we're discussing. This month we're going to look at damage to plated through holes. Now, in realistic terms, it's unusual to have damage to plated through holes these days. Generally speaking, the most common reason for damage to the plating in a through hole is during a rework operation. The desoldering of plated through holes needs to be done by skilled and trained operators in line with some of the requirements or suggestions in the IPC standards and training media. Here we see an example of copper that's been actually pulled out of the plated through hole. And the reason this has occurred is through poor control of the desoldering process. Remember with lead-free technology, we're actually using higher process temperatures. However, if the solder is not in a liquid state during the removal of a through hole component, this will cause the plating to be removed on the component pin, as you see in the example shown. So the key thing is making sure during a desoldering operation that you use the right tools and for plated through holes and multi-layer boards, a vacuum desoldering system should ideally be used.